Shania Johnson has scores of 76 and 81 on her first two algebra tests. If she wants an average of at least 80 after her third test, what score must she make on her third test? Let's define our variable and let x represent this item to be found, which is the score on the third exam. Now we know that Shania wants at least an average of 80 after the uh, third exam. So as we average her exam scores, her first score was a 76. Her second score was an 81. We've let x represent her third score. And we'll take this average by adding those scores and dividing by 3 the number of scores. And she wants this average to be at least an 80. That means greater than or equal to uh, the value of 80. Now let's solve this inequality for x. I'm going to start by adding the 76 plus 81. That's a 157 plus x divided by 3 is greater than or equal to 80. As a next step, let's multiply both sides by 3. So multiplying the left side by 3 is going to cancel this 3 out of the denominator, giving a 157 plus x. Multiplying the right side by 3, 80 times 3 is 240. As a last step, let's subtract 157 from both sides to get x is greater than or equal to 240 minus 157 is 83. And so, Shania's score on that third exam should be at least an 83, an 83 or better.